In the previous lesson, we got a fresh Laravel application up and running on your development machine using Laravel C. And in this lesson, we are going to look at handling requests and returning responses. But first, let's start with some definitions. Let's define a web application. A web application is a computer program that handles HTTP requests. Those requests could be coming from a web browser, could be coming from a mobile application, and they could be coming from an IoT device, for example, etc. Laravel's job starts when the web server takes this request and sends its data to the index.php file inside your Laravel application. This file puts up the Laravel application and passes the request data to the framework router. A router's job is to match an incoming request to one of the routes that you have defined in your application. Let's take a look. In Laravel, you can define your routes in the web.php file inside the routes directory. And a fresh Laravel application ships with a single route that matches the root of your project. That's the route we hit when we visit localhost in the browser. This route here returns a view called welcome. The view files can be found under resources, views and here is the welcome.play.php file that's the view this route is going to display to the user if we take a look at this file we can see that it's just some basic html with a syntax called plate and plate is a templating engine that ships with laravel more on that later now let's go back to the web.php routes file and clean those lines we are going to start by defining our first route and to do that, we are going to use the route class and call the get method. That way we are telling the framework router to define a route that matches the get HTTP method. And then we will pass a first argument to that get method with the URI that the route should match. In our case, let's set it to about us. So we are going to define a string and with the value of about us. For the second argument, we are going to pass a closure that returns a simple string. So let's define a closure. And this closure is going to return a simple string that says about us. Now let's go to the browser and visit this about us route that we just defined. And once we hit the route, we can see the about us message that we returned in the route definition printed to us in the browser. You may define any number of routes in your application and each route must define a URI that your application serves as well as a get HTTP method. If you are not familiar with HTTP methods, I suggest that you go read about it and I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for you to check. Now in our example, we have only returned a simple string in our routes. Let's take a look at what other response types that we can return in a Laravel application. An about us route should probably return an HTML view where we can show some text about the application, maybe some images, videos, any kind of media really. And Laravel ships with a templating engine called Plate. This engine allows you to build your views with HTML, PHP code, and a special syntax that's simple, expressive, and powerful. Plate temple files use the Plate.php extension and are typically stored under resources views. Let's create a simple plate file by copying the welcome.php file and call it about us.plate.php. Inside the about us view, we are just going to trim the content of the file and just print a header that says about us. Now let's go back to the web.php routes file and instead of returning a string, we are going to use the view helper method and define the about us view here. Now let's go to the browser and visit the about us route again by refreshing. And here we go. Instead of returning a single string, now the framework is serving our about us view that we defined in our application here. So returning views in Laravel is quite simple. And another thing that you can return in a response to an HTTP request is a redirect. And a redirect is a way for us to tell a web browser to go to a different URI whenever it hits this specific route. And this can be useful to redirect users from an old URI to a new one or to redirect them to a different screen after performing some action like processing a form. 
So maybe we want to redirect our users to an about Laravel URL when they visit the about us page. So let's copy this route here and call it about Laravel. And we are going to return the about us view in this route. But in our original route, the about us route, we are going to redirect to the about Laravel route. And to do that, we are going to use the redirect helper. And as the first argument to the redirect helper method here, we are going to add about Laravel. So here, whenever the user visits the about us route in our application, we are going to redirect them to about Laravel, which is another route defined in our application. So let's go to the browser and refresh. So we visit the about us route again. So we refresh. And we can see that the Laravel application redirected us to the about Laravel URI. Returning views and redirects is very common in web applications. And another common response type is file downloads. To return a file download response in Laravel, we may use the response helper function. So let's delete this about us route. And maybe in the public directory, we are going to create a text file called about us.txt and we can put the about us content inside this file. And now we go back to the web.php routes file and instead of responding with a view, we are going to respond with a downloadable file. And to do that, we are going to use the response helper method. This method here returns an instance of illuminate HTTP response. So we can call another method here called download which exists in the Illuminate HTTP response class. This download method here accepts the path to a file that we want to download. In our case here, the file exists inside public about us.txt. So we are going to use another helper method, which is called public path and pass the name of the file inside the public directory. This method here will return the fully qualified path of the about us file that we just created. Now, if we go to the browser and revisit the about Laravel route, we can see that the browser detected that we want to download a file and it just downloaded the about us.txt file that we just created. And now we know how to define routes in your Laravel application and how to return different response types. You put all your route definitions inside the web.php routes file and Laravel is going to take care of matching all these routes. However, in a typical application, there are going to be a lot of routes. So your web.php file will have a lot of business logic, route definitions, uh, validation, form submission, and so on. And this can grow to be quite a mess. And that's what controllers are here to help us with. A controller is a PHP class that gets invoked in response to a specific route. Let's define our first controller. We are going to go to app, HTTP controllers and create our first controller. We're going to create a new PHP class and we are going to call it about us controller. Inside the controller, we are going to define a public method called invoke. And this method is going to get invoked whenever a route triggers this controller. So inside this method, we can return any response type we want. So let's just return the about us view about us. Now let's go back to the web.php routes file and instead of a closure here we are going to provide a string and inside the string we are going to provide the controller name about us controller. And before we can get this to work we are going to visit the route service provider and uncomment this line. This will allow us to define our controller's name without having to provide the fully qualified namespace. It's going to use this namespace by default. So let's go back to the web.php file. Just make sure that we have defined our controller with the correct class name. And then we will go to the browser and visit this about Laravel route. And here we go. When Laravel received the request, it matched the about Laravel route and this route invoked the invoke method inside the about us controller PHP class. Organizing our application logic using controllers is quite handy. 
Now your web.php routes file only contains your route definitions while your business logic is organized in separate controller classes. In this video, we mentioned the terms views and controllers, which is the V and C in MVC. I'm sure you heard this MVC term before. In the next video, we are going to look into the M in MVC, which is models. In other words, in the next video, we are going to start talking to databases. So see you then.